Hey, 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 Virgo. How are you? How are you? How are you? Uh, this is going to be a reading for Virgo. And happy birthday, Charles. I know you commented yesterday and said it was your birthday today. So I want to wish you a happy birthday. And we're going to get to your reading. So what's going on for my Virgos? And this reading is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, and we have the High Priestess. I love it. So you guys are very intuitive at this time. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords. Please don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you already have it there. And let me know if this resonates as well. Okay, so what's going on with you guys with this anxiousness? What's got you? Ah, okay. I feel like you guys are going back and forth. Uh, uh, this could be relating to work or just sort of teamwork with the one that you're with. There's this anxiousness and fear about the future. Uh, there's anxiety, but then there's optimism. So it's like you keep shifting back and forth between being nervous about the future and no, 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 everything's going to be great type of thing, okay? You want to try to steady your focus, okay? Or at least become aware when this anxiety and fear arises, become aware, okay, it's here, right? How can I shift my vibration? Can I, you know, whatever works for you, listen to a piece of music that uplifts you, go for a walk, exercise, let some of that energy out, right? Some of you could be moving. That could be another reason why you are anxious at this time. It could be because of work. And maybe you're not telling anybody. Tell me about this high priestess. Or if you guys have a secret lover, <laughs> or will have a secret lover that's another reason queen of pentacles so we have a capricorn energy here could be taurus or virgo three of wands this could be somebody at a distance Ooh, I'm at eight of wands yeah so you guys are secretly talking to somebody so it's either a you're secretly talking to somebody judgment this could be somebody from the past right so you could be talking to somebody secretly and not telling anybody because maybe this this person from the past you know the people around you don't necessarily agree with the relationship here or it could be because there's a third party situation with the three of pentacles here right but i do see and feel a lot of energy between you a lot of passion a lot of i want to say vibrancy there's a lot of energy and see, be aware of this. All this energy between you here or what's coming up between you, it's sort of like when you're not speaking to this individual, right? It, it's turning into this anxiety and this fear and then shifting to this, you know, two of wands. Well, wait a minute. We can move forward. Wait a minute. The future is, you know, the future is ours. We have so much to look forward to. So we keep shifting back and forth, fear and anxiety and optimism. Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands. Yeah. So this could be a third party situation that you become involved in for some of you. Eight of Pentacles. For others of you, okay, this anxiety is revolving around work. It, it's something creative, something that you're moving forward in. Maybe it's something that's new for you. You're not quite used to the position or title that you find yourself in, right? What is this job? Okay, King of Swords. So maybe you got a promotion and you're just anxious about stepping into this role right i do feel like it's it's a big move up it's a big opportunity that's going to be beneficial to you two of swords clarifying the nine of swords so at times you feel stuck with this romantic situation i'm feeling if you guys are interested in a personal reading the link to my etsy shop is in the description box below 
strength. Yeah. So you're needing to pull some strength out of your ass here, Virgo, with this situation. Seven of Cups. You're confused. This romantic situation you're all confused about. Okay. If this, if you're all confused and whatnot over this uh, work situation, I wouldn't worry. Virgo, you got this. You can do this. You're very intelligent. Virgos are extremely intelligent, right? You have this presence that just commands respect, but it's not, it's a respect that, you know, you don't have to be a tyrant to get. You don't have to be a dictator to get. It's your presence alone. So fear not your energy there, Virgo, okay? Because you got this. Tell me about the two of wands. Tell me about the two of wands. It could be just about a move. Yeah, emperor. Yeah, it's like you want to take control of this situation. You want to step into this role that you know, you know, it is you. It is you. It's totally you. And you do deserve it. Five of cups. Don't let things from the past creep up on you and you know cause this sadness this anxiety to arise what is this five of cups the devil so we have capricorn energy again you could definitely be dealing with a capricorn if this you know for some of you if this is a love situation this may be both situations at once virgo that's totally possible but this is also talking about toxic relationships toxic patterns right not wanting to place yourself once again in a toxic situation yeah wanting happiness uh as far as job and money goes this is looking good virgo this is looking very good yeah the sun and justice here so we had Libra energy here before with the King of Swords, right? There may be a decision that you need to make and this revolves around your happiness. So if it's job, maybe you have to decide whether or not you want to move. If it's this person, do you want to be a part of a third party? Do you really feel like uh, you, if you are coupled with somebody and you're also coupled with somebody outside, are you going to, you know, are you deciding between the two? Are you going to keep it going? Are you going to decide between one or the other? What are you going to do? I feel like you will make a decision career or love wise, and it will bring a lot of happiness. So don't doubt your intuition. You are the high priestess. That was the first card out, Virgo. You're the high priestess. Have faith in yourself and that inner knowing, okay? So what is your advice for Virgos? What's your advice for Virgos? Star. Don't stop dreaming, okay? And continue on with healing uh, the shadow aspects of yourself, yeah, and transforming what's within you that you know needs to be healed why is that anxiety there virgo why is that fear there because most of the time it's not just because it's the situation that we're involved in it's deeper it's deeper than that it's it's more deeply rooted okay so think back just try to trace it back trace the feelings back where do they begin where did it begin for you the fool the four of cups don't focus on your disappointments just take that leap of faith whether this is love whether this is career if this is what your intuition is telling you to do listen to it listen to it you can trust it okay it's very strong right now virgo and you are in the spotlight the sun is on you guys right this is your birthday time the sun is shining on you so shine it on the inside to light up what the, the things that you need to become aware of and heal okay for your expansion for your growth you deserve it virgo you deserve it all right so advice for virgo what advice do you have for virgo oh too many this is like five that flipped over Happy accidents. 
Fortunate accidents can act as guides to edit and be open to where you should go next. So what's been a happy accident in your life? Or maybe there's one coming up. Delay. Confront the natural tendency to delay the finishing of a creative endeavor. Have you been putting something off, Virgo? Taurus got something similar. Okay? That's sort of unlike a Virgo. But you could have other Earth energies in your chart there. Okay? In contest, be yourself fully and you are without compare. A true winner of the only contest that matters. Exactly. Be better than you were yesterday. That's all you need to worry about. That's all you need to worry about, Virgo, because you're awesome. All right? So just be you. All right, Virgo, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions. Information, my Etsy shop is in the description box below. Have a great day. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my new channel, Nature Speaks 333, where I channel the trees on a daily basis for the collective. Actually, I think I'm putting out the earth signs today, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So keep a lookout for that, Nature Speaks 333. All right, Virgo, happy birthday once again, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.